I think his issue is balance and is what people are doing. But my last point I want to make, which I didn't make, about the evolution of the rhythmic speech, really, of, of hip hop, of rapping. Again, we have, we have to understand that when Africans went to America and to the Caribbean and to, to Brazil, South America, the, so it's like in Jamaica, for example, I'll give you the Jamaican example because it's one of the world. You have 20 different African linguistic groups in Jamaica, all of whom have different words, but different rhythmic tonalities in Jamaica. So what you think of as the Jamaican Patois accent is not just Jamaicans failing to speak English properly, it's Africanized English. It, has the, it reflects the rhythmic tonalities and syntax, and even the structures of tenses in Jamaican Patois are the structures of tenses in the West African linguistic groups. We still even have some of the words, like the word pygmy. You know, it's not an English word. We say pygmy means child. Well, it's a word in Sierra Leone. And there's various other words and tonalities in Jamaican that are... And that's why, I suppose, the Jamaican accent really lent itself so early to rapping. You know, because West African speech, if you know, European speech is structured in the Arabic pentameter, the twos. One, two, be done, be done, be done, be done, be done. West African speech is on the freeze. I can't do it as well as my friend did it in the documentary we just did recently. But it's very rhythmical speech. And that continues through jazz. So in early jazz music, you know, you have scatting. You can go on YouTube and watch Ella Fitzgerald, you know, doing these sounds. No one wants to explain why. But when you understand her as a person whose original language is lost, who's trying to find a new language, when she's going to do, 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 doing all these sounds, and then you listen to a West African talking really fast, you know, it becomes obvious. <coughs> and when you understand rap in that evolution, there is even more no reason why people living on this continent should be imitating people over there. Because what they have evolved out of, many other influences, absolutely, but evolved out of what they took from here. And when you understand that history, it's really obvious, but hip hop's never presented in that way because the people who own hip hop are not people who create. I mean, even the word hip hop, hippie, comes from a well off West African word, which means to open one's eyes and see. It's a term of your name. So, right there in the name tells you something about the origin of it. African man, why I told you that, Kerosene told you that. But it's, they're not the faces of hip hop anymore. If they were,